Shannon from Creative Chaos in Tennessee, and today I am back with day four of 30 Days of Sketches with Christy's Beautiful Life. Um, today's sketch is designed by Miss Carrie, and it looks like it says Miss Carrie's Creations, so that's probably, um, her name you could use to look her up for her social media. Um, and today I am using a big mix of different things, and I'm going to use some pictures that are not the greatest. Um, they would have been beautiful pictures if they would have came out correctly. My friend, um, Tootie actually took the pictures for me. They were pictures of me. And they were in the middle of my weight loss journey. And um, whenever they printed, for whatever reason, my head was cut off in most of them. Um, and I felt so cute this day. Like, um, it's very rare that I dress up. Um, but I did that day. Um, I loved my little outfit. I was rocking. And I could actually fit in some stuff. And disappointment my head was cut off but i thought you know what i don't want to just throw these pictures away um there's still some used to them i got one um of me but it's a little far off it has fingerprints because it's a shiny hopefully it's not glaring um but okay it's not glaring too bad um I thought, you know what, I think I will journal about something else. Since it's the fall season, you know, I'm always thankful in the fall. Um, I think more so than any other time of year because there's so much change, you know, with the leaves and the weather and um, all of that. But I feel like I just reflect more on my blessings um, whenever it becomes fall, I don't know. It just gives you a different feel, um, emotionally, I guess. Um, but I have had surgery on, um, my left foot three times. And, um, I broke my right foot last year and was laid up with that. Um, about this time of year. <laughs> but, um... Pretty much, I thought, you know what, I want to do a page, since this um, has a two, two pictures, I'll probably change it a little bit, but um, for the title, it has a big title, and then it says the story. So whenever I saw the story, I thought, you know what, this would be a good page to just, since there's so much open space, to tell a little story in journal. So you know what, I think I'm going to do just that taking inspiration from the sketch um and i'm gonna cut these pictures down and use them to tell about my feet and my blessings and my difficulties um so i'm gonna take and um i'm gonna cut these down here in a second and then i'll come back once i cut them down because i have a big old huge paper trimmer and um Y'all don't want to see that. But I'll go ahead and tell y'all what I am doing. Um, I'm using this paper. It's a close to my heart paper. Um, I don't know if that's the zip strip from it. But it says mix ends April, April through June. Um, it's a close to my heart paper. But it probably, this one probably is the mix ends. Um, I'm also going to use some of these papers. This one's from the Hope and Kindness collection. And this one is another mix-in. Um, this is from Simple Stories Vintage something. Garden, maybe. Um, I don't quite remember. But it's just one of the cut-aparts. And then this is from the same collection. Um, it's just the little foam stickers. And I thought I would use it to build my title and put So Thankful Always. Um, and then I'm going to use my vintage photo to distress. And this is another piece of paper. Um, 
from a collection. Let's see, maybe this one's it. Oh, it says mix-ins April through June. Okay, so maybe I'm using all mix-ins. Um, maybe I am from different collections. And then I have this piece of paper that was an eight and a half by eleven from um, Hobby Lobby, and I just fussy cut um, some sunflowers out of it. And then I have all these butterflies that I fussy cut out of the back of one of the cut aparts that I wasn't going to use. So, like I said, I am going to go and trim down my pictures and stuff and get things a little bit in order and I will be back. Okie dokie. I am back. Um, I did a little more than just cut down my pictures. I tried to lay it out like what I had going on in my head. Um, and then I realized I didn't have um, any swap pieces. So I went back through, I dug out, and I found this. I don't know who made it, but it did come from a swap. I think it was a partner swap, if I'm not mistaken. But this is my thoughts. I haven't glued anything down. And then that still leaves me all this room here to tell my story. And I was able to fit four of the pictures on there. Um... So, I think I'm locking this pretty good. So, I'm just going to work on gluing it. Hopefully, it won't take too long. And this is just using up zip strips and... Page kits that I've been hoarding. <laughs> I love my kits that coordinate, and um, I really love the Close to My Heart kits. Um, of course, I like 49 Market and stuff like that, too. But um, with the Close to My Heart, you have everything. Like, if you get the sticker sheet. So, you have your embellishments, you have your papers, and all that. But then I keep thinking, oh, I don't want to use that because I want to... Um, I want to save it for the perfect thing. And I think that's my biggest downfall is I want to save it, you know, and um, not use the good paper and all that whenever that's what I need to be doing because that's why I have it, right? Um, do you guys have that problem? You don't want to use your, your paper. You want to wait for the perfect moment to come, the perfect pictures. That's, that's the hard part for me. And I just went through, I also inked everything I was going to use with that vintage uh, photo distress oxide, so. Woo, throw the glue. Catch. <laughs> uh -oh, I hear a life force going over outside. It's never a good sign. Okay, let's see. There's that part. Now, this is something I punched before my punch broke. But I would love, 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 love to find this punch again. And it not cost a million dollars. <laughs> but um, just the little scallop edge punch with the holes. I love it. I like this one, too. I think this was done on a cutting machine. And I do have a Cricut, and I could cut it out. But I liked having the punch. Um, like I've told y'all before, I don't have many punches. And this was my favorite one, and it broke, like, some months back. And I'm like, wouldn't you know it, the one punch that I actually use, and it's going to break. Ain't that how it goes? Okay, I think I'm going to put this one up on top, just because of how my feet's turned. Whew. We don't realize how much we depend on our feet every day and take it for granted, because I had, like I said, I've had three foot surgeries, and... Um, the first one was probably, no, the second one was the worst. 
The first one, I had no idea what to expect. So that's what made it really bad. The fact that I wasn't, couldn't put any weight on it for like six to eight weeks. And so, you know, my kids were in school. My husband was at work 12 hours a day. And I was by myself because I didn't have anybody to take care of me. And I couldn't get up to even go to the bathroom by myself. So... It was very, very, very humbling because I am, I don't like to ask for help. Um, I'm very independent. I just like to do it on my own. And um, so it's hard. So for me to reach out, I totally did not glue these in. So we're ripping it apart. But... I do not like to ask for help for anything. I like to do it myself. And um, so I literally had to ask for help. Um, my first surgery became my second surgery because um, the physical therapy tore apart everything the doctor did. So the second round, he had to put um, a lot of hardware in. And... Um, I knew what to expect at that point, like pain-wise, and was a little more prepared um, to take care of myself. But, you know, it's it's a very humbling experience um, to have to ask somebody to take you to the bathroom. Um, you know, and we, we really do take having feet for granted and being able to walk and do for ourselves. And, um, yeah. Oh, I always feel like I've always been a pretty humble person, but that, that was a lot. That was very humbling. Um, and I'm very blessed. Um, I made it through a lot of days on my own. Um, but, you know, I'm part of a local, um, mom's group ministry. And those ladies are amazing. Um, they came over. They brought my family dinner. Um, you know, they stopped by to pray with me. It was it was great. But it's... <laughs> I, and then I had to have a third foot surgery. Um, they want to do another one right now. But I'm like, nope. I'll just take the, the cortisone shot. <laughs> Um, because I don't want to have another foot surgery. It's a lot. It's, I mean, mentally, physically, emotionally, it's, it's a lot to deal with a foot surgery. And, um, I'm just not there at this point. Um, so I'll just continue to deal with the pain and make the best of it. And, um, just keep praying that the Lord brings some healing because I'm not doing another surgery. <laughs> All right, I'm putting this one on foam tape. And I think I had this here. Uh, I don't remember. Maybe I should put it like that, even though it makes it sideways. I like that. I don't remember exactly how I had everything. <laughs> Surprise! I got talking, running my mouth, and forgot what I was doing here. Um, I just like the butterflies being spread around. Butterflies bring me joy. I'll put that here. I don't know. I want it to be. I think I'm going to put that there to build. To build it up some. And let's see. Some of these I might take and put on foam tape. Um, maybe at least this one. And I'll pop it here. Maybe. I can always move it once I get it on foam tape because it's pretty easy to, to pull it up and move it. I am going to use this big one right here to go over top of this butterfly 
that I put. I just stuck these words over top of the words that was on there because I wanted it to say that instead of what it said. So, uh, maybe I'll move it up a little bit so I can still see the always. Okay. I like that. I don't like all these fingerprints showing on my pictures. Let's see. Okay. I didn't glue that down. I'm sorry if you hear my son whistling. Apparently he has a song to sing. <laughs> um, okay. I think I'll put that there. That kind of creates the triangle. And then I have these. Um, I definitely want to put one up here. Let's see. Put that there and then let's see maybe one down here maybe let it fly sideways so it don't ain't all facing the same I like that this is a different different page than my normal style like just the the layout of it and I didn't of course follow the sketch exactly but I am going to do all my journaling down here. I will post close-ups at the end. I have the links below for um, everyone else playing along with 30 Days of Sketches. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And thank you for hanging out. Give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you're new here. Um, I would love to have you to hang out with me. Um, and until tomorrow, bye y'all.